Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VIII HD Remastered for the PlayStation 4 where we of course are going to go finish the game. Beat Ultimisha, see the ending and see the end of the game. Uh, thank you all very much for supporting this Let's Play on my channel. I've been having a great time playing Final Fantasy VIII. All the nostalgia, all the memories from, being, from my childhood coming back. Um, it's just really... It's just one of those games that when you play it, it reminds you about the good times, the happy times in your life when you were a kid. And things were much easier. And I, I was having, I'm having, I had a great time. Lots of ups and lots of downs, lots of frustrating moments, lots of very funny moments, lots of cool moments. Um, in the last episode, if you guys watched it, the Omega Weapon fight, what an insane boss fight. Um, well, I was determined to beat it without using Invincible, and we got it done. So that was something that made me very sad and very happy. And uh, yeah, I'm just like, I'm sad it's going to be over. But it means I can move on to the trophy guides for Final Fantasy VIII. And I, I really enjoy making guides and people seem to really like my guides. So at the same time, I'm very excited to do this and uh, get it done. So let's go, let's go, let's go beat Ultimisha, guys. The final boss of the game and uh, I wouldn't say the hardest boss. She's not difficult at all. I'm pretty sure Mega Weapon is the most, is the strongest enemy in Final Fantasy VIII, but... I don't know. I, I could be wrong. Maybe Altamisha's going to give me a nice surprise. I know she's got a, a new magic you can draw. Apocalypse, I think, is the magic you can draw from her. Uh, we can draw cast, so you can draw cast Apocalypse. Or you can just draw and then normally cast Apocalypse, I think. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be a cool boss fight. We're going to see some cool things, guys. It's going to be very fun. I hope you guys are all looking forward to it. I know I am. Um, as I said, you know, sad that the game's ending, but I think we did a good job, you know, we did the choke before a side quest, we did all the side quests I know about in the game. Uh, we got all the GFs, we got uh, all the cards, we beat all the super bosses, you know, I feel like we did everything. We did everything you can do in Final Fantasy VIII, as far as I know, so. Very excited, 48 hours, let's play, pretty long actually for Final Fantasy VIII run, but just enjoyable. I'm just, I'm really having such a good time. Get it over with, with Fido now. Yeah, baby, let's go, Altimisha. I'm ready for you. Altimisha is hard as F, by the way, guys. I don't know if you guys know this. It's, it's Renova. She is Renova, so I mean, it makes sense, but she's super hard. Sources love their thrones, apparently. That's, that's a really cool throne, I must admit. Hello, Renova. Future Renova, I guess. Seed. 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 Seed, seed, seed! Curse all seeds! Swarming like locusts across generations, you disgust me. The world was on the brink of that ever elusive time compression. Insolent fools. Your vain crusade ends here, seeds. The price for your meddling is death beyond death. I shall send you to a dimension beyond your imagining. There I will reign and you will be my slaves for eternity. <laughs> She's actually super hot by the way. I just love how she looks, like the angel wings, the sexy body, the red outfit. You know what actually that red outfit reminds me of Julia's outfit from Laguna's flashback. Like it really is it's really similar. Maybe you know Julia is Renoa's mom, Julia Renoa is Artemisia, you know what I'm just saying. Whom shall I exterminate first? I shall start with you three. What? Please be Squall's team. Because <laughs> if it's Irvine's team, we are fucked. I hate fighting Artemisia because I love her. Tornado. Oh no no! What is this lineup? This lineup sucks, dude. So they give me a random lineup? Interesting. So they, they give you a random lineup against uh, Ultimisha. That sucks. That sucks, dude. What? I didn't know they did this. I don't think it's gonna matter because the, the people that are Junction are gonna be so strong that it's not gonna matter at all. But the other people are gonna be useless. Oh wow, you guys both died. You're pathetic. You guys are pathetic! 
Minerva is the shit. You guys are a joke. Just goes to show what difference having um, Chief's Junction and not having Chief's Junction makes, guys. It's insane. Fun dog. Somebody is gonna die. No, Angelo reverse! Why are you doing me like this? Mighty god. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, that was not Angelo reverse. That was not Angelo reverse. That was not Angelo. That was not. Absorbed in time? What do you mean absorbed in time? Hello? Zal? What happened to Zal? Guys? Where the fuck is Zal, dude? What the frick? Zal was absorbed in time? Hello? I'm so confused. Okay, I think we actually need to start like fucking up new job, guys. We're absorbing more people on time. I'm gonna allow that shit. Are you potentially weak to bad bit? As long as we know that's not that will be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get get over and low so I can use uh, his out. Bad breath. I highly doubt she's got any status for yeah. I was pretty sure Altamisha was going to be immune to all statuses, but I wanted to test it, I wanted to test it. Let me break! Let me break! Over! Oh, let me break! Wait, he, he, let me break! But he's dead. Don't you absorb to time, little my Irvine! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! Let me break! Blue magic. Uh, let's go for. Oh, we missed out. Oh, this is Renoa. Renoa. We can just attack, I guess. Well, that did good damage. Well done, Christmas. Bum, ba, bum, bum. Ultimisha so awesome. I want an Ultimisha. I want my own Ultimisha, like a pet. A pet Ultimisha. She's so cute. No, don't absorb the time, my woman! Quick, quick, hit Renoa. Why do you never hit Renoa? It's, I know it's because you are Renoa, so you can't hit yourself because that would be weird, but... Just hit Renoa for fuck's sake. <laughs> so that Irvine can use the limit break. I want to use Irvine's limit break before he dies and does nothing in this game. Don't absorb to time my Irvine. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Irvine, I believe you can get one limit break in this whole game. Just one. Tornado. On Renoa, please. That is everyone? Are you kidding me, game? Since when does Tornado hit everyone? I didn't know that. No, that absorbed the time by Irvine! <laughs> oh my god, we lost Irvine, boys. Irvine's gone. Bring Selfie in! Selfie! Squall! Oh no, we're not. Oh, this poor. Poor Altamisha. She made a critical error bringing Squall into the game. That was your first mistake right there. Right. What's this? Attack. <laughs> you finally hit Renoa. When it was too late. Fuck up, Squall. Wait, where is White Wind on Christus? Christus doesn't have White Wind. Christus is supposed to have White Wind. Where's White Wind? Did I never learn white from for Christus? There's no way, right? There's just no way I never learned white one on Christus. I'm sorry. Can you absorb in time Christus so I can get south of this? Thank you. You can absorb in time Christus. I want south in my body. Absorb in time, Chris. I want something in my body. Maelstrom. That sounds horrible. Nice. Oh, cool. Ooh, Maelstrom looks awesome. Oh my goodness gracious, sweet Mary Jane's balls of fire. That did nothing. Can you just absorb in time, uh, my girl, Christmas ready, please, so you can get selfie? I want selfie in my party, wing. 
I wonder if that's just gonna prevent my heal. That mighty god is gonna load that heal that my you know I guess. Maelstrom looks pretty cool though. I must admit. Yeah, it does. Hmm, there we go. Absorbent time. Questus. Bye, Questus. Sorry. You served us well, I think. Salve! Yay, my favorite character. Absorbed into time. But now we got Salve, so it was worth every second. The most powerful GM. You shall suffer. She's summoning Squall. <laughs> She's summoning Squall. Check it out, guys. She's summoning Squall, guys. Check it out. It's literally Squall, guys. It's literally Squall. Actually, that might be Cypher. Isn't that Cypher's cross on the front? Kinda of looks like Cypher's cross in the front, I'm not gonna lie to you. It might be Cypher actually. Look, the spell sucked. You drawing from me? You drawing from me? You took a flare? I had a hundred flares, now I only have 99 flares, you mother budger. Kill him. Kill him everybody, he must die for his indiscretions. Anyway, it is cool guys, because our uh, sorceress of Misha is Minerva, and Griever is Squall. And they're gonna junction to each other soon. Which is weird, but it's fine. <laughs> Griever looks awesome, by the way. I wish I could get Griever. This is unfair. Why don't, why don't I get Griever? I want a Griever. He's casted some kind of status element on my two... Oh, Maelstrom cast status element on my two characters. I wonder what those status elements do. Stop drawing my magic! Do you know how long it took me to get a hundred of every magic and now you're drawing them away? Stop stealing my flares, dude! I just sit for like 20 minutes drawing flares and now you're now you're stealing them all? That's so mean. Luckily it does like fucking zero damage. And Mighty God lasts forever apparently? That's great. We know it's protect wall. It doesn't last forever. Shower wall. Mighty guard and wall. I guess are the same thing in this game. I can't believe we end the ended Omega Ripping still, guys. That's still like for me in my brain, like still fresh and exciting. I'm very glad we got our strong party instead of our weak party. That was nice. Dude, Griever has got a lot of HP apparently. Holy crap! The fact that you haven't died yet is kind of impressive. Don't draw any more magic from me though. Oh, he's dead now. The strongest GF guys, by the way. Excuse me? Scores Demi was blown away! Excuse me? Did you blow away all of my Demis? Hello? Yay? What is this shit? Oh crap, there's rumbling, boys. It's, it's never a good sign when you see rumbling happening. So I have no more demis left, apparently. On my sc on score, at least. Wow, well, the trigger actually does make a difference. It's like a thousand damage more to trigger than without the trigger. I feel like he's gonna... The GF's true power... I fucking knew it. Allow me to show you. Griever, make them bleed! Shockwave Pulsar! Sounds horrible, guys. Ooh. Who do you think is stronger? Gr uh, Griever or Ida? I'm just saying. She said Griever is the most powerful GF ever. And I believe her. But I'm pretty sure Eden is the most powerful GF. Wow! Okay, Griever is actually strong because he fucked the know up. That's not easy to do, guys. That is not easy to do. 
No, to a squall. Squall got turned into a ball. Ozma? Ozma, this is where they got the idea for Ozma boss fight. It would have been cool if Altamisha came and she ate it. I shall junction unto Griva. Oh, I shall junction myself unto Griva. What is this, this Naruto music? That's for Noah's power level is that little ball and it scores part of that big ass ball. Scores way stronger than we know. It's so cute! What? Could you make something so adorable? It is so cute! Oh, maybe I shouldn't have hit cured school. Then I could use Renzoki and just edit the game once again. Ooh, the, wait! Wait a minute! This is the boss music for Necron! This is the boss music for Necron for Final Fantasy VIII, the Final, uh, Final Fantasy IX, Final Boss! Hello? Final, uh, Square Enix is using the same boss music for Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX boss? Interesting. Very cool. When do you get the pop look now? I don't understand. What is that? Kill the helix, wait. Kill the helix. Kill the helix, I don't trust it. Are you causing Meteor? Hmm. It looks like uh, Ultimisha can do some serious damage. Or she, I mean, she can cast some good spells. Dude, whatever Selfie has equipped is making her take zero damage from fucking Meteor. So Selfie is like a, ba a badass, you know. Her GF that she has on is making her intensely strong. I know this music because I've speed run Farm 9 a lot, so I've got to Necron a lot, so I've fought Necron a lot. And Necron is a nice little uh, run ender, unless you cheese him. But I mean, you have to cheese him in speed run, but you know what I mean. Bip, 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 bip. Now there's two helixes. Where's the other one? The other one hasn't even spawned yet, but they let me attack it already. Nice miss, you know. You had one fucking job. This thing's got freaking laser beam attacks. What the frick? Let me warn you, if you guys get score low, you will all die. I'm just saying. No, don't holy score the heals yet. Yeah, holy, holy twist it. I don't think Sophie gets healed from uh, holy at all. Dude, this Helix is strong. Ultimisha. Oh, it's just called Ultimisha. Even though it's Junction, Griever, and Ultimisha, it's still just called Ultimisha. Interesting. That's kind of interesting, actually. I think so. More laser beams. Good damage on those laser beams, though, I must admit. Remember, my characters are like max out. Okay. Do they keep summoning Helixes? What must I do? I can't kill these Helixes as quick enough. It's impossible. You're gonna make me have to do something dramatic. I didn't want to do it, game. I wasn't gonna do it, but you bought it on yourself. I'm a little bit worried about the shakiness because they might just kill my entire body. Or she might just kill my entire body. She used like some kind of insane, uh, like, maelstrom slash Reaver ultimate ability thing. So I'm gonna actually kill all the YouTube. Paul's own Kiraga does like really little, yeah. He has like 3k. That's not a lot of heal. Need more heal than that. We know his Kiraga does a lot though. Wait, she still has Encounter 9 and Move Finding Group, doesn't she? Yeah, but still heals for 5k. Fuck me. Great attractor. This sounds horrible, guys. Oh my word. Oh my word. What is with Final Fantasy bosses and destroying the universe? I'm just saying. You don't want to be planets when you're involved with uh, against these people. Also, I'm pretty sure if you pulled three planets and an and a asteroid into Earth to hurt my three characters, it would destroy the Earth we were on, thus we would all die from not having oxygen to breathe in the first place. 
just saying. Dude, that was actual real life damage. Excuse me? I kind of wish she didn't cure herself, of course. I could just send Zoku again and end this fight, but. You know what's done is done, as they say. I feel like Altamisha is stronger than I gave her credit for. Uh, excuse me? You killed Eden? Hello? What the fuck, game? Did I say you could kill Eden? Hello? I do not appreciate you murdering Eden, Altamisha. Okay, I think we just don't curse Gore anymore and then we win Zoku because this is getting annoying now. Because I killed Eden and I went to summon Eden, so I'm very mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit, hit. Yeah. Why did so little? What the hell, guys? Dude, these helixes have so much HP. What the fuck? Ooh, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not the Nova. Squall. You gotta take Squall, guys. I want to scan out Misha, guys. I don't think I've. Oh, yeah! Finally, scores in the HP zone we wanted to be. Ultimation Junction to Griever. A powerful monster that combines Ultimation and Griever's forces. Level 65. It's not even level 100. It's so cute, though. I must admit. I have to admit. Holy? Don't, don't holy score, please. Yeah, Holy would know that's great. Comment to Ace Holy looks really cool. Let's use it. Uh, okay, let's end this fight. Is that a counter? That might be a counter, actually. Never thought about that, but. Okay. I was looking. I was looking at the actual limit breaks. So I couldn't hit the triggers in time. That's not cool, man. I was looking at the limit break. It looks so cool. Um, I wanted to do something. No, no. I'm very sorry to be the bearer of bad news, uh, ultimately, but your life is over. So that's Ari. Lionheart just for lols! Lionheart just for lols, Squall! No, he didn't Lionheart for lols. Come on, man. You had one job, Squall. The Lionheart for lols. Oh, 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 oh. We just cut off half of Altamisha's body. We didn't actually kill Altamisha. Good. Good. Nice. Kill that Helix. Sure. Now she's Apocalypse. No, no, she does not. When do you get Apocalypse now? I don't understand. I only see a Lionheart against Altamisha. But it's all cooking. It's like, that's that cool cut. Oh, oh yes! Yes! Lionheart Ultimisha! This is what I'm talking about, game. Get wrecked, woman. Get destroyed. You don't even understand what's about to happen to you. I kind of feel a little bad for her, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Easy. Easy Altimisha fight. I actually like Altimisha a lot, by the way. Kind of makes me think of Unileska a lot. This whole, like, junction yourself to Zion and becoming, like, that pretty, pretty. What have I done? What have I done, guys? I made a critical error. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it, Altamisha. I didn't mean it. Ooh. Ooh. Got quick Renault's moving because of haste. Remo comparison uh, Renault's movement to Safi's movement there. Safi is not hasted, Renault is hasted. Knows me being literally two times faster than Safi. Did you think it would be that easy? No. Nah. 
But it's kind of unfair, actually. Altamisha is fucking awesome, dude. Altamisha might be like one of the coolest bosses in Final Fantasy ever. I am Altamisha. Time shall compress. Oh, this music all existence denied. The only problem, the only problem I have is I don't understand. Like, it's the like Sephiroth had a plan at least. He wanted to bring the meteor to Earth, to hurt the Earth with meteor so that he could absorb all the power. You know, it makes sense, right? But Altamisha howls judgment. Well, that sounds very bad. Altamisha's entire game plan is like, you know what? I want to just time compress and deny everything from ever existing or being in this world. Angela Rush. From my logic, my problem with that is. If she does that, won't she just fucking uh, end the world? Wait, let's see if we can the end Altamisha. I thought about the full turn. Is this gonna work? I'm, but I'm not gonna be able to draw Apocalypse and cast Apocalypse. Oh, she doesn't have Apocalypse. Is this gonna work? I mean, this shouldn't work. It's the fucking final boss of the game. Come on. It's legitimately the last boss in the game. I don't think you should be able to the end the final boss. Okay? I'm sorry. I uh, just I don't I don't think so. The end. Reflect on your childhood. Okay, it didn't work! Yes! Yes! Wait, what? Curious, blown away! Not my curious! Okay, so you can't, um, you can't, what's it called, guys? You can't the end Altamisha. That's good. That's actually good. I think so, because I think if you could the end Altamisha, like, that's a little bit anticlimactic, but. Also, it would have been kind of cool, but at the same time, no, I, I, I agree with it. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm completely fine with that. I'm missing every single trigger, dude. Holy shit, that was fast. Lionheart, anyway, okay. I think we're gonna kill Altamisha regardless, because Lionheart does 23,000 HP. I don't think Altamisha has that much HP. This music's so good, though. Killed by the love of her life, guys. Can you guys believe it? I think Altamisha became Altamisha because of Squall dying in the first place, in my, is my opinion. Your sensation. Your words. Your emotions. Kiraga. Oh, that was a cute Kiraga. <laughs> um, excuse me, Altamisha didn't die to a single Lionheart? Respect, respect. I can respect that. Draw Apocalypse. Oh, draw Apocalypse. Stop! Draw! Draw Apocalypse! Stop! Draw Apocalypse! Stop the con! This probably doesn't have anything! Cost! 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 We're casting three Apocalypses on Altamisha. We're using Altamisha's own stuff against her, guys. How does it feel, Altamisha, to get your own spells used against you? Ooh, that's good damage. It, that looks like Ultima from Time. It will not wait. That looks like Ultima from Final Fantasy VII. That's so cool, no matter how hard you hold on, it escapes you. A bucket, yeah. This is such a cool boss fight. This might actually be one of the coolest boss fights in all Final Fantasy. Necron sucked, dude. Because you had I mean, the problem with Necron is in Final Fantasy Nine. Now, Final Fantasy Nine is my favorite Final Fantasy ever, guys. Keep this in mind when I say this. And. She's doing a pop-ups too, guys. 
She can also do apocalypse. Oh my goodness. Oh no. That's, there's a lot of apocalypse happening, guys. That's all I'm gonna say. Angela Rush! <laughs> I love it kill her with Angela Rush. Dude, that did so much damage, what? It's actually gonna kill her with Angela Rush? Renoa killed Altanisha with Angela Rush? What is this meme one of mine? It's insane. The problem with Necron and Farmers and Nine, remember guys Farmers and Nine is Farmers, is that you don't, when you kill Necron, you don't see a point to it. There's no point to it. Ne Necron was never your enemy. Kuja was your enemy. When you kill Kuja, there's like emotion down, there's reason, there's stuff like that. But when you kill Necron, it just feels wrong. Ultimecia has been the antagonist from the start of the game. From the start of the game, we've known that Ultimecia is the bad guy. We've known we need to fight Ultimecia. We know we have to kill Ultimecia this whole time. We see that we're trained to kill the sorceress. Ultimisha. So it feels right. It makes sense. It, it flows. It feels like a, you're receiving a reward. If you don't kill Ultimisha, it feels like you're getting nothing. Guys, you gotta run to the beach. Everyone to the beach. We said, is it over? To the beach, guys. Remember what we said after the fight? Everyone go to the beach. Let's go. Let's go back to our time. Go, everyone. You can do it. Savi! <laughs> Savi's the best. <laughs> Savi's the best. Shut up. Just calm down and think where we have to go. The beach, guys. Remember, you all said it was the beach. Okay. Careful, guys. Don't pick the wrong time. Whatever you do, don't fall into a time warp. Oh, that was, that was Safi saying. Like, Chris is saying, no, not Safi. Safi's the best. Safi's the actual best character in Final Fantasy Time, place, who I want to be with. I want to go there, we're scoring, I promised. <laughs> I mean, Renoa has cute moments, and I must admit she's like that clumsy type of cute. But I just prefer Selfie over Renoa, personally. Squall. If you just gave him his fucking ring, he wouldn't die, but now you don't give him his ring, I die. Ultimate is like, fuck you, Squall. You killed me, I'm not letting you go. Squall, let's go home. Where are you? That's a good question. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> okay. Squall, where are you going? Hey, it's a little it's mini me. I'm gonna find sis. Is Squall in love with um Elone? Squall! Say that, matron. This is where matron gets her powers, right? Excuse me, have you seen a little boy? You don't have to worry, that boy won't go anywhere. I think so too. Poor thing. I can't skip this, by the way. This is automated. Ultimisha! You're alive? The sorceress? Yes, Matron. We had defeated her. Matron, stand back. It's okay. There's no need to fight. That source is just looking for someone to pass her powers onto. In order to die in peace, the sorceress must be freed of all her powers. I know, for I am one too. I shall take over that sorceress's powers. I don't want one of the children to become one. This is literally how the whole game starts, you freaking retards. I can't disappear yet. Matron! This is how the game starts, by the way, which means we haven't actually accomplished jack shit. Because everything we'd done, we had already done through this game. Is this the end? 
most likely. You called me matron, who are you? A seed, a seed from Baram Garden. Seeds don't exist at this point in the game, by the way. A seed? Garden? Both garden and seed were your ideas. Garden trained seeds. Seeds are trained to defeat the sorceress. So literally, Squall told Ada about the plan to make seeds, which Ada then implemented to make seeds who killed Artemisia, so Artemisia came back in time and give her powers, where Squall goes back with her and then... It's a time paradox! You're that boy from the future. Matron. Please return. You do not belong here. I can't find sis. Am I all alone? Who's he? Nobody. You don't need to know. Wow. Thanks, Edda. That's not a very nice view. The only squall permitted here is you. She literally just told him who I am. Do you know where to go back to? Do you know how? Will you be alright by yourself? I'll be alright, Matron. And that's when Matron sees the salute that she fucking teaches them all to use in the seed. Which is what he used from her. Because I'm not alone. So this it's pretty much... It's pretty much a time loop. Scores in a time loop that's never gonna end. If I call out, they will answer. Every squall just goes back in time. Every squall goes into the future to send Artemisia back in time, where Machen absorbs Artemisia in front of Squall, and then Squall becomes the seed, goes in the future, kills Artemisia, Artemisia goes back in time and become and enters Matron in front of Squall, and then Squall becomes a seed and goes in the future and kills Artemisia, and Artemisia goes back in time. It's a literal loop. Squall's entire life is a loop. That sucks, dude. I can't make it back alone. You know that. Or every instance of score through time loops. This is actually I never really paid much attention to the end of Final Fantasy VIII, but if you think about it like like really think about it, it's fucking fucked up. And it has a whole ending. I mean the ending's great because it means every score gets a happy ending, the same one. But it also means that Ultimisha never ever gets defeated, ever. Because Ultimisha just loops it over and over. Game play recording block because you entered a block scene. I'm about to get copyright striked again. Mother fudges are gonna copyright strike me. And Square Enix is very good about this, so I'm gonna probably have to edit this out, guys. Because Square Enix is really good about copyright striking you and blocking your videos worldwide. They do not like it if you put their videos out. Square Enix is very anti that. So you probably are either seeing a big funny picture now or a black screen, or maybe you're seeing the cutscene if Square Enix decided not to. Copyright strike me and ban my video. But if they did, I'm so sorry. I'll tell you guys what's happening. Squall is walking on an open desert and he doesn't know where to go. The desert looks very hard. It's really hard. It's not sandy. It's all cracked up and fucked. Squall is a bit confused because he's like, what the fuck must I do? This kind of sucks balls. He's walking for a while. He's kind of tired now. It's very dusty. He's still walking. Music's dramatic. His outfit doesn't really make a lot of sense either. Like, how do those bouts stay on him? I don't even understand. I'm sure they'll just both fall off, but anyway. They're not attached to him in any way, shape, or form. They're both loose on the side of him. It's night time. Squall's been walking all day and all night. And he's now at the ledge. And he can't take it anymore. He doesn't know where to go. He doesn't know what to do. Everything is grey. And he's on a little rock floating in space where he fought Altimisha on. So Altimisha's a bitch, and she was like, listen, you motherfucker. If you're gonna kill me, you're gonna suffer for it. This girl's depressed, which is his normal state of being. His hair is sexy. Reno is like, where the fuck is Squall? He said he's gonna meet me here. She's running and looking for him. In the flower field, there's a storm brewing. So I wouldn't be out in the open, uh, I wouldn't be out in the open flower field if I was you, Renoa, since lightning will hit you, since there's nothing else for it to hit. You are like a, basically a lightning conductor right now. Mm. 
Scores like stuck on this rock in space and time. It's compressed time, probably. Ultimisha did a job. But a feather floats to Squall, a white feather, which is Renoa's white feather because she's got white wings because she's an angel secretly who somehow turns into out. See, Renoa has white wings, but when she goes evil, then she has black wings because she's Ultimisha. Renoa is so Ultimisha, dude. There's like no arguing this or debating this. Squall's calling Renoa. Renoa's like, fuck your shit. I'm out. And she disappears. Squall's forgetting Renoa and who she is. As he's losing all his memories. Because he saw himself as a child. He, does no one know if you go back in time? Rule number one is you're not allowed to see yourself. Yeah, I always forget Final Fantasy VIII's ending kind of sucks, boss. Because if you kill Artemisia in the past, there's no Renoa in the future. Because Renoa is Artemisia. He remembers that he was friends, which is good. Plus a cool Ragnarok scene. Renoa and Cypher. Renoa in a white dress. But she's the sorceress, you see, because that's where Ada was on the sorceress thing. This game has made it very clear that Renoa is Artemisia. Like, that much they've done. If there's anything that Final Fantasy VIII has done, they've made it very, very clear that Renoa is Artemisia. Okay? And if Renoa is Artemisia, score has to be Griever. Cypher could be Griever, it's possible, but I doubt it. But it could be, because, uh... Grievous got the same cross on his chest that Cypher has. And now they are showing Altimisha's face and Renoa's face together. Just to just to emphasize the fact that by the way, Altimisha is Renoa. Slash Renoa is Altimisha. In case you guys weren't if you if you weren't following one hundred percent, just so you know. Squall dies, and that's the end of Final Fantasy VIII. Okay, next game <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. There's more. I'm just telling you guys this because I don't know if you're seeing it. All oh, this is being blocked, which means I'm probably going to get copyright striked, which means it's probably going to be blocked nationwide or worldwide, sorry. And no one's going to be seeing this. I've been commentating this whole time. End of the game. We got a trophy called End of the Game. Interesting. Cannot take screenshot now because I'm still going to get copyright striked. And we know it's like, listen, you motherfucker. We had a plan and you didn't follow the plan, so I came to get your ass. And I'm gonna copyright strike for Eyes on Me because I'm not allowed to play Eyes on Me, guys. It's a song owned by someone. I don't know who owns it. But whoever owns this copyright strike in my ass right now. But I'll let it play, guys. I don't care. Enjoy. This is the best part for me, actually. <laughs> Cypher is really competitive.
begini That's so cute. I wonder if that's the Griever ring that Rain is wearing and then she gives it to Squall when she dies or when she gives birth to him and dies. I don't know how it works with the Rain thing but she dies. Because we know Squall is the goodest child and Rain's child, right? I like how Ward and Kyrus are wearing their normal clothes, but Laguna's wearing his uh, new presidential clothes, and uh, Kyrus and Ward aren't wearing their presidential aid clothes. It's kind of interesting. He goes Balam Garden. Flying over Windhill, I assume. The Windhill area, because that's where I'm assuming he would have buried Rain. Because that's where Rain was from. Well, that's at least where Laguna met Rain. But we don't know if that's where Rain was from, but it probably was. So, Elona... Rain looks at Elona as a daughter. So, Elona gets... She meets her father, which is great. Um, Squall... Doesn't ever... Doesn't seem to ever figure out Laguna is his dad, which is interesting. And uh, Selfie is awesome. Because Selfie is Selfie. So, we love Selfie. Selfie's best character in the game. Irvine is trying to hit on Christmas. I thought Irvine was off the selfie. I was pretty sure. Christmas is like, what's up? Christmas is kind of hot. Probably the most useless Sid in any Final Fantasy game, <laughs> in all honesty. Matron. How did Ada's hair grow so much? I don't understand. Like it's been like a couple of, it's been like a day or two, right? Hello, mommy. I mean, it's not really their mother, but I mean, the mothers will be, you know, matron raised them, so. In their, in their eyes, it's their mother. Southie puts on Irvine's hat. It kind of really suits her. Oh, it's awesome. There's Angela. Selfie's sculling Irvine up. The hat actually really suits Selfie, I must admit. Do you guys think so? Zal finally gets his hot dogs, but he's got that girl. Oh, that one girl that likes Zal, but Zal's always too stupid to realize. He's so happy to get his... Oh, he's choking on his hot dog. He finally got his hot dogs, and now he's choking on Oh, 
Where's the hot dog? What the fuck, dude? Angela again? Uh, and bet she's running out. Do I need to skip the credits to get the final scene, or does the final. Will I miss it if I skip? I don't think so. I don't know if I can skip. I don't think I can skip the credits, guys. You just have to, get, just have to watch the credits. This is how it is. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. We need to see the final scene, guys, for the happy ending. If we don't see the final scene, we don't get the happy ending. What's the point? Actors, Squall Lionheart, Toshi Hau Amawa. How are they actors for these characters? They don't even get have voice actors. Action actors. Maybe it's they had motion? Maybe they had motion detector people? Like uh, the whole, uh, like, uh, what do they call that? Where they fucking like motion track the actors and then they 3D engineer it. CG? I don't know. Libre Fatali. Music composed by Nobuo Uematsu, one of the most legendary music composers in history. <laughs> Fei Wong and Nobuo Uematsu are going to copyright strike me for eyes on me. Don't do it! Don't copyright strike me, please! Oh man, Final Fantasy 8 is a great game. Final Fantasy 9 is also a great game, but Final Fantasy 8 is a great game too. I really like Final Fantasy 8. Final Fantasy 8's got a lot of nostalgia for me. It was my first ever Final Fantasy game I played. So for me, Final Fantasy 8 has a special place in my heart and it'll always, 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 always hold a special place in my heart until I die. That's just how it is. I've got other games that have over the years come and they are my, and I enjoy the game more. It's not my favorite Final Fantasy. It's not my favorite game, but it has a super special place in my heart. It's actually the game that made me fall in love with gaming, if I'm being 100% honest with you. If it wasn't Final Fantasy VIII, I wouldn't be the, a gamer, probably. So maybe I should blame Final Fantasy VIII, but uh, no, I would never do that. Because I, I used to play games a little bit, you know, like Mario Brothers and Tetris and stuff like that. Just chill. A little bit of Tony Hawk's, a little bit of Tekken. But then I played Final Fantasy VIII, and my life changed. My life actually changed. Happy ending! Squall smile, guys, holy shit. You just had to beat the final sorceress and save the world for Squall to smile. That's all. That's all it took, guys. They get the happy ending. Oh, look, there's that part they broke with Renault follow. That's pretty cool that they kept that there so you can see it there. Like when I was riding in the Battle Garden, it couldn't fly. It's flying right now. I want to make that very clear. It was like it could only ride on water and shit. It couldn't fly. The end! Pharmacy 8, 1999 Square. Thank you, Square! Thank you so much. Um, this is the end of the Let's Play, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Amazing. Amazing game. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I absolutely enjoyed it. And um, I hope you all did too. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps channel on Ch the channel out. I'm just a little bit emotional because this game really does hold a super special spot for my heart. And I and I when I say I love it, I legitimately mean I love this game. Like I absolutely love this game. Like lots of people have that feeling about Final Fantasy VII. There's a, a ad that I watched for it that got me a little bit emotional uh, about a guy who had never played Final Fantasy VII and everyone else around him went on and on about it. And the remake was coming out and. It's a beautiful ad, a lot of funny moments. Stuff. It's all in Japanese though, but you guys check it out. It's it's amazing, and that's how I feel about Final Fantasy VIII. When I play Final Fantasy VIII, I just feel, I feel like a kid again. Like, and the happiest time of my life was when I was a kid of what was I seven, eight at the time, sitting in a room, playing on the PlayStation One on an old CRT screen, and it was beautiful. And I hope you guys enjoyed the journey with me, reliving that childhood, and having a great time. 
through the frustration, through the happy moments, through the funny moments, through the sad moments. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed it. Enjoy the guides that are coming out for soon for all the trophies. I'll be releasing that soon. Probably a week after the final episode comes out, then the first guide should start coming out because some of these guides are going to take a while. Specifically guides who have to play the whole game again. But for now, thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time.